Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, I'm going to share the moment where she enjoyed a nice date night with her husband, the Yoruba actor Kola Wale Ajiyemi. These guys have been married for quite a while now. They got married just last year and also welcomed their son together. This happily married celebrity couple stepped out in style for the Kambili movie premiere in Victoria Land, Lagos State. So he also took out her time to motivate her fans and tell them not to be frustrated by the glitz on social media. To engage some fans who might be on the verge of giving up some hope with her recent post. And she explained how she came to realize that life was not easy and how a person could start to feel hopeless once they have not achieved a lot at a certain age. And she said that God did not create people to live another's life, but to live theirs to the fullest. So he added that it was easy to compare oneself to others, but that people should not let the glitzy life on social media frustrate them. This Yoruba actress also had a lot to say about fans struggling with self-doubt. And she encouraged people struggling with self-doubt not to give up because God still had plans for them. And according to doing, the journey to where you're headed begins with a step. Start from where you are now. Give it all that you've got. And trust God to handle the rest. And on a note on self-doubt, according to Toy, Yoruba man sokbe, along with that budu wabakana. And it is why I've come to realize that God didn't create all of us to live one another's lives. But to live to the fullest. The life he wants for every one of us, individually. Emokbe. I know we live in a world where it is so easy to daily compare ourselves to other people. But the truth is, there is no wisdom in letting social media glitz and glamour frustrate you into giving yourself the permission to put yourself down and convince you that you are not doing well enough. Believe me, I know that life is not easy. I know that you feel like you are growing older and you haven't even achieved one quarter of the things that you plan for your life. I know you're done with school and there is no job yet. I know that sometimes you do feel like everybody's moving forward and you're being left behind. I know that you're tired of being your supporter, friend and encourager. I know you feel exhausted, but don't give up. Everything is going to be alright. Life is not a smooth sailing boat. And you've got to trust that even in your present labor, God still has plans for you. You're not a mystic. Life doesn't hate you. And neither are you better of that. Only the living can be hopeful. Don't let the troubles of now tell you that tomorrow will never be any different. Focus more on yourself than investing in other people's being and living. Nobody deserves your attention more than you. All the attention you give to wishing for other people's lives, pour it into yourself. Ask yourself, am I underutilizing my potential? Am I self-sabotaging? How can I improve my skills and develop myself for best opportunities? Trust God with all of your heart. Be grateful for all that you have, have and can afford. One thing comparison never fails to do is that it blocks your sense of gratitude. It tells you that there's nothing to be grateful for, but it's a lie. Gratitude opens new doors. Stop wallowing in self-pity. Stop hating on you now. And this was the message of encouragement she shared to those who are about to lose hope and give up. And it was just recently Tony shared a choba photo of herself and her husband Kola Wale Ajayemi in a rare photo, rare choba cloth of photo. This was when they were still doing hide and seek. This was stated according to Tony way before people even knew that they were an item. And today, Kola Wale Ajayemi and Tony Hebram are going to be one of the most loved couples we have in the Nigerian entertainment industry. Meanwhile, in another news, Tony had earlier opened up on the challenges she encountered during the NSAS protest. And this was when she also revealed that her latest movie, Fate of Alakada, was able to beat the record of her previous movies. That's why the difficulties of the NSAS protest and COVID-19. This is something that she is very grateful to God for. And in her words, fam, please allow me to brag about God by fans and Nigerians in general for a few minutes. See eh? God has been wonderful and faithful to his name. And you guys have been amazing. Although this year has been quite a dramatic and intense one with COVID-19. The happenings in our country, the stipulated percentage of people allowed in the cinema, and other complex things that we cannot name. Faith of Alakada has been doing incredibly well at the cinema. At the point, we face some difficulties such as cinema having no choice but to close down for the protest sake, and some top cinemas in Ilori, Suluri and Jakonde getting destroyed in the process by hoodlums. Still, God kept showing his messes. You know, I told you guys that I've beaten my last cinema record. Yes, it is true. 
I'm telling you authoritatively that's how you are to in that boss today. I yeah, call out earlier, you mean? As beating and surpassed my last record at the cinema. And right now, the only person I want to be better than is the twin of last year and previous years. Don't forget that my last record goes on the top, made some seven million era. And to confidently tell you that I've beaten this record makes me very happy. Please, guys, don't forget the fate of Alakada is still showing at the cinemas. Please go out there and keep showing me love by watching it because I want to buy a plane. Also, I want to say a very big thank you to my business partner, Turned Family, from One Nigeria, and to my husband, Turned Business Partner, Kola Olea GM. Thank you, and to every celebrity and soul that has supported me. I say a very big thank you. And to all of my fans, everyone that has seen the movie, I say God bless you exceedingly. Don't worry, very soon. I'm going to announce the amount we made at the cinema. But you guys should just know that if Ghost and the Tout was a box office seat at 77 million euros, then Mbappe it is not a joking stars. Yes, according to fans and so many sources, Tony Abraham is known as a box office queen. She's known for her comic roles and also known for her performance at the cinemas. Her latest movie is Fate of Alakada, as mentioned earlier, The Party Planner 2020, and she also has loads of other movies. Her other movies include Dear Afi 2020, Small Chops 2020, Elevator Baby 2019, We Don't Get Mad, Get Even 2019, Made in Heaven 2019, The Millions 2019, Casanova 2019, Bling Legoshens 2019, Nimbe 2019, The Ghost and the Tower 2018, Seven and a Half Days 2018, This Guys 2018, What Just Happened 2018, Alakada Reloaded 2017, Esoe 2017, Hakunde 2017, Mentally 2017, Tattoo 2017, London Fever 2017, Wise and Shard Revolution 2017, Celebrity Marriage 2017, Okafor's Law 2016, What Makes You Thick 2016, Dovers on the Head 2016, Lani Babalabake 2013, a B Mini 2013, Alakada 2013, and Shola Fekwami, among others. Just recently, Toei was nominated for two major awards Best Actress in a Comedy for Bling Legoshens 2020 African Magic Vias Choice Awards and Best Actress in the Comedy Year as well for 2020 African Magic Vias Choice Awards Casanova for that movie Casanova. And she won two major awards as well. Best Actress of the Year, Africa Magic Vias Choice Awards, and Best Actress in Africa, Africa Choice Awards, 2020 Boots. So he has been active in the movie industry since the year 2003 to this day. And she's happily married to her husband, Kola Walia Jamie, who is also a popular Yoruba movie actor. Here yeah, come to the end of this episode, we hope you enjoyed it, and let's know two new things, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for our daily content.